Kumusta? Manigayang pagbabalik sa akin channel. Now that tawag ng tanghalan 6 is over and that Laika Estrella has been crowned the champion of that season, maybe it is time to shift our focus to The Voice Kids Philippines 2023. Um, today I want to react to the performance of a young lady called Jai Martinez. I hope I'm not butchering her first name because it is written X-A-I and I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Is it Jai? Is it Zai? I'm not sure. But she will be performing Hindi Tayo Puede and it is during the sing-offs. I've decided to react to this one because a few of you have requested it, but with an asterisk. You keep saying that people are mentioning the fact that maybe her voice has been auto-tuned. So that got me very curious, you know? We will see, we will see. So apparently she's a semi finalist at the voice kids ph and some are commenting that her voice sounds auto-tuned auto-tuned in this performance and her previous battle performances so we will be reacting to this one and maybe i will check out on my own her previous battle performances just to see to make sure that it's not auto-tuned i honestly I would be extremely surprised if that's the case for many reasons that maybe I will mention during my reaction video. Uh, but before we start, consider subscribing to this channel and of course liking the video because it does help me tremendously and make sure to follow me on Instagram at Music Game News because that is where you can DM me your suggestions. Oh, and before I forget, obviously I will have to reduce the opacity of this video because the voice is part of ABS-CBN and we do not want to anger the copyright gods as usual. Let's get to it. Wait, wait, that was so fast. Where is she from? Kolokan City? Yeah. Kolokan City. Kolokan City. Alright, girl. Let's hear. Wow, I did not expect her to have such a beautiful deep voice and she is really uh, controlling her lower range very well. So I'm really going to, to focus on the uh, vocal quality, okay, and see if um, the audio has been altered or not, you know, because there are two ways, you know, they can add the auto-tune, um, pre-production, meaning on the microphone that she's using. So in real time, you know, she'd be singing and there, her voice is being altered by the auto-tune plugin. Um, or they can do it in post-production, meaning when they edit the video. But I highly doubt it, seriously. But let's see. Okay, so for her lower range, I am not able to hear any autotune, seriously. And also, when I look at her, she looks mature for her age. Wait, 
Oh, nice falsetto. Wow, she has um, multiple facets. So first of all, I did not expect her to have such a beautiful lower range, to have a, a deep voice. She showcased a very nice and very well controlled falsetto. And then she started singing like this, you know? Like, that sounds very operatic to me. And that was very surprising. So, this is really awesome. And she's singing really well. I am not hearing any problems and I'm not hearing any autotune. Guys, I don't know where this came from, but I don't hear any autotune. Plus, it doesn't make sense from everything that I've learned of the Philippines. Autotune is a big no-no. It's almost a sin. So why would they use autotune? Absolutely not. Uh-uh. I don't think so. Honestly, for a kid, you know, or maybe teenager, I'm impressed. I really like her vibrato as well. And the only thing that maybe they added is a little bit of reverb. And the reverb does not alter the voice, okay? It just adds space to the voice. And they added a slight delay. That's it. But that does not change how the, the performer is singing, you know? I'm impressed. Wow. I'm impressed for a kid to be able to perform this well, to be this focused and to convey emotion through the performance is not an easy task. So I am very impressed. I personally did not connect. I mean, I could have connected with the song a little bit more if I was familiar with the song and if she had sang a song that I'm familiar with. But I'm sure that these guys, these judges that I trust full heartedly, I am sure that they connected a lot more with her performance, you know, because I think they are, uh, you know, familiar with this song and I honestly trust their judgment. I don't know if they're going to explain it in English or not, but even if they say it in Tagalog and I don't understand it, I think I will agree with what they have to say. Oh, look at her. She's so focused. She was really like in the moment. Now, Sai, let's ask what must happen at the coaches. Coach. Coaches. A big sigh. Like, wow. This is one of the nicest low tones i've ever heard there you go really. see see he mentioned the lower range as well and the deep voice yeah and then you can hit the high wow mm -hmm. galing. and galing salamat, coach martin coach bamboo i like that intensity no na parang nung ending ng song andong ka pa rin sa song no and then how you ended it ah that was oh. so nice and clean so the good best. stuff on it pretty cool yeah, all right, he's speaking Coach in English. Thank you, Bamboo. With that performance, pwede kaya siyang umusad papuntang live semifinals, Coach KZ. I'm so proud of your growth from the very beginning, sa audition mo pa lang hanggang ngayon. And si Sai, yung isa sa mga members ng Team Supreme talaga na mabilis makapick up. I am very happy, very pleased. Yeah. Woo! Para pakapunad muli, Sai! Now, Sai, take this time para magpahinga muna. Okay. 
there you go the panel all right the coaches all of them are satisfied and happy with what she uh proposed and delivered okay and i'm so glad they also spoke a little bit in english and you know it's just for me the english but if i were filipino and i, I spoke and understood tagalog i would prefer that they would speak in tagalog okay i love the tagalog language i enjoy hearing and listening to tagalog but for me since i don't really speak it it's better for me to um that they speak in english so that i can understand uh, their feedback there you go but to answer the question uh the the not it's not a question or it it is are is she using autotune no there, there is no autotune autotune at least it was not obvious if there was autotune it must have been really like this much like used one percent of it but honestly i really don't think they used autotune i just think that she practiced the song um vocally but also uh emotionally right like she really delivered something that meant a lot to her and she did it so well that people thought maybe she was using autotune but honestly she was not uh congratulations to zai martinez there you go let me know in the comment section below your thoughts maraming maraming salamat po and of course if you found value in this reaction video do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here